Hello everyone, myself Abhishek Thapa. Today I am going to discuss about the prediction using the decision tree algorithm which is the intermediate level tax allocated as a data science intern at the Sparks Foundation for the batch of November 2022. The data set I have used for this project is taken from this URL. You can click uh, this URL and have that data set for your project. Now. Uh, without wasting much more time let's dive into our project for in step number one we are going to import the important libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib c1 and in step number two we load our data set using the read underscore csv uh, method of the pandas and for the um, for the visualization of our data set uh, that we um, using the dot head method of the uh, the pandas data frame uh, we are getting the first five uh, tuples of our data set and uh, in step number three we are going to ex uh, have the exploratory data analysis and the visualization first uh, explore and analyze our data let's see the shape info and the statistical distribution of our loaded data set using the dm.shape there are 150 and number uh, total number of the rows are the tuples in our data sets and the six there are total number of the columns or the attributes look id one two three four five and six columns or attributes in our data sets and df.info gives the total information of our data set using the also uh, along with the memory uses data types number of non-null count values and the column names etc and uh, using the df.describe we are going to have the statistical information about our uh, data sets also checking the data type of various features of our data set for checking the uh, data types of our uh, at the columns attributes of our data sets we are going to use the df that d types uh, attributes of our data frame so we have uh, from this result we are getting we are going to we are getting the information that the id uh, column has the int value and all the other except the species uh, have the float value or the numeric value uh, except the species and except species are of the object data type now <coughs> except the species which is our target variable uh, is of the object types and the remainings are of numeric types now let's check for the missing values in our data set for that we are going to use the is any method dot sum and we are getting 0, 0, 0 output which means there are no any missing values in our missing values of the tuples in our data set let's discuss about uh, let's see the distribution of our target feature for that we are going to uh, use the dot value counts and for uh, for it is set to say there are 50 number of tuples there for the Vashi color 50 and there are 50 for the Iris Virginica. There are equal number of the tuples for all the classes of species. Thus, our loaded data set is balanced data sets. Now, let's check for the noisy tuples in our data sets. For that, let's see the minimum value of the data, uh, all the attributes and uh, minimum value. The result of minimum value looks like this. For, uh, and uh, for the maximum value looks like this and the average value now after the comparing comparing the minimum and maximum values with the corresponding mean value let's see the sepal length which value is 4.3 minimum maximum is 5.84 and the uh, average value is 7.9 sorry maximum is 7.9 and average is 5.84 so there is no much more deviation uh, within the maximum minimum and the average value so uh, these tuples are not noisy tuples in this way we can analyze our uh, this results thus the data sets are considered as a noise you know from this analysis we are uh, having the conclusion is the no missing values in any tuples and no noisy values in our tuples now removing the id columns for, uh, from our data set we remove the id column as it does not have any role in deciding the species of this iris flower here x is one one uh, here x is one is x is equal to one means we are dropping the column and in place equal to true means we are making the that changes to our original data assets data frame and uh, now we can drop uh, our that id column by using the dot method and passing the uh, uh, that attribute as a list and in place equal to true here in place equal to three means we are making that changes to our original data set data data set or data frame that is df and x is equal to one means we are dropping the column of id so after uh, this we are if we run df dot head we get 
uh, we get the uh, data set without id attribute now let's visualize our data sets first we are visualizing our data set using histogram which is uh, uh, here, which is created using the object oriented approach of matplot library and for that uh, i'm not explaining this code because i had already gone through the eda i have already gone through the sorry for the interruption now where i am i was is that i was saying that uh, the eda of the eda of this uh, project is has been already carried out in detail in previous video that is iris flower classification uh, which is in my video playlist so you can go through that uh, i will pin that video in uh, description you can check that so i'm not uh, going through the detailed explanation of the uh, the exploratory data analysis and visualization of for this project so i'm just plotting the histogram uh, and the features distribution analysis of the iris species now i'm having the length of the Pet, uh, length of the sepal, width of the sepal, uh, length of petal and the width of the petal. From this we can see that uh, from the length of the petal and the width of the petal, one species uh, is separ uh, linearly separable from the other two species. This will be more clear after going through the detailed, uh, after going through the end of the uh, visualization portion of the, this project. Now secondly I am going to plot the scatter plot with the length versus width of the sepal so from this also you can see that the iris setosa um, are forming the separate cluster than that of the iris virginic and iris versicola so there is mix mix up or mismatch between the iris virginic and iris versicola using the length versus the width of the sepal so again visual let's visualize the length versus the width of the petal now from this you can see that the iris setosa is again linearly separable from the other two and from the sepal length versus the petal length again you can see the iris separate separating uh, and distinct distinguishing easily distinguishable easily from the other two species in this way you can see again see the sepal width versus the petal width now after this oh, we are going to you know, compute the correlation matrix and the plot the heat map so for the correlation matrix we are using the data frame dot core and it is giving the correlation matrix you can see that and the more the value is the more the value is nearer to the one or minus one uh, the more is the correlation between the two variables now after that i am going to plot the heat map using the c1 library sns dot heat map and i am plotting the correlation value and the anode is equal to true means here we are going to have this one zero minus zero point one one value within the box so without if it is not uh, set as true then we will not see able to see this value so we are setting this true for having this visualization and c map is equal to winter which is my favorite and uh, i am having the title figure super title is uh, heat map and color is purple and the font size is 16 now after that i am going to have the box plot and i have box plot using the c1 library here sns dot box plot and x is the sepal length and y is the species of iris flower and data is equal to data frame so from this we can see that the sepal length of the iris setosa iris setosa is much lesser than other other two species that is iris versicola and iris versicola also the there is some uh, intersection between the values of the uh, iris versicola and the iris virginica now after that we are going to have the pair plot the c1 pair plot allows us to plot the pairwise relationship between the variables within a data set this creates a nice visualizations and helps us understand the data by summarizing a large amount of data in a single figure this is essential when we are exploring our data set and trying to become uh, familiar with it so i am plotting the pair plot using the sns dot pair plot and data is equal to data frame u is equal to the species that is the target and we are having sepal length versus sepal length this is the this is scatter plot for everything every other variables now from this uh, uh, data exploration analysis we can say that the iris species are linearly separable look 
here linearly separable uh, from the other two species and other remaining two species are not linearly separable from each other now in step number four we are going to have the data pre-processing for data process pre-processing we are having the four four steps first data cleaning data normalization data standardization data encoding is our data set is clean and no spring no requirement of the data cleaning data normalization and the data standardization normalization typically means that it scales the values into a range of zero and one and the standardization typically rescales the data to a to have a mean of zero and the standard deviation of one that is unit variance if your data set has extremely high or the low values outliers then the standardization is more preferred because usually normalization will compress these values into a small range only and data encoding will be carried out after the feature engineering for the each now in step number five we are having the data that is the feature engineering first we let's split the data into the x and y but before uh, that i would like to use the three of the tuples of the three different classes in order to uh, use them for the prediction for the analyzing the performance of our model after it is trained for that now let's see our head and here the i log gets the rows here the integer position means here d of that i log what i am doing is that i am saving the three tuples of each belonging to the different species of iris flower and removing that tuples from our data set in order to have make those tuples unseen for our constructed model and evaluate its performance on unseen data so i am i am taking three separate tuples of different species in order to uh, test our model and make our model to predict on those values and uh, check the performance of our constructed model, uh, model so for that uh, selecting the one tuple of the class iris data for the prediction purpose i am having the data tuple of i log is equal to 32 position and this is the data set this is the save as the press underscore data one which belongs to the iris data set. and uh, selecting another tuple of the class iris virginica sorry is it particular again the iris particular iris virginica and removing these three tuples from our data set for making these tuples unseen for our data set so we do not train our model model with these three tuples so that we can make them unseen for our model while doing the prediction so now previously our data set was 150 uh, that is there are 150 tuples in our data sets and now after dropping the uh, i log of the position 32 76 132 we are having the 147 tuples so we will train our model using the 147 uh, number of tuples and three of them uh, of them three of our three of out of 150 uh, which are used for the prediction purpose now making the x features and the y features now this is our x features and this is our y features and here we can see that the data types of the x uh, that is features are all numeric but uh, y has a categorical value which must be encoded into the numeric value that is the machine understandable value for this we use the label encoder so we are we need to import the label encoder from the sql under pre-processing module and label encoder inst instantiate is le and d of encoded species is equal to le fit underscore transform y dot rival function then uh, the, our y looks like this here the variable function is used to create a contiguous flattened array it returns a 1d array containing the elements of the input i had already explained this in also the iris flower classification project you can also see that project in detail and here the zero represents the set uh, iris setters of uh, encoded species value zero is encoded for the iris setters are and one for the iris particular and two for the iris virginica now i am just creating the uh, data frame like, like looks like this and preparing the training and the test data and is feeding to the model uh, so for that i am going to import the train test split from the scale under model on model underscore selection and for the decision tree classifier i am going to import it from the scale under tree library and nb dot random dot seed is equal to 65 i am setting the random seed value 65 for our for making the our data uh, the splitting of the data training and the test data consistent and i am splitting that uh, data uh, our data set x y and the test size of 0 0.2 using the train test split and uh, our classifier is instantiated as decision tree uh, classifier and criteria genie 
minimum samples underscore speed is equal to two. Now you can play with these hyperparameters and you can also improve this accuracy to greater extent. So I'm not doing that. I'm just going through the normal processes and I'm feeding the train and the test data to our models. So now score is equal to on the test and the uh, test data set. Our model accuracy on the test data set is of 96.967%, which is very uh, good. And now I'm in step number five, seven. I'm going to have the model evaluation. Uh, for that, uh, I'm using the matrix classification report, confusion matrix, accuracy score. And you can see the classification report, like it looks like this. The confusion matrix looks like this. And visualizing the confusion matrix, look uh, for the zero class. Uh, zero is the actual and the predicted level uh, is zero then it is predicting the 10 correctly so there are only eight plus one nine uh, errors or sorry one there are only one errors in our data set because our data set is of only the 150 so if we give much more more data more number of data uh, topples in our data set then this accuracy will be improved much uh, greaterly now visualizing our decision tree for that i am importing the uh, tree module uh, and uh, tree dot plot underscore tree method will uh, able to generate the decision tree like this and we are going to plot our classifier that is the decision tree classifier field is equal to true means so that these values are filled and feature names is equal to sepal length sepal with petal length petal width so from this we can see that the, if the petal length is less than equal to 2.35 then uh, if it is true then it goes here and look here value is equal to 3900 means 00, 0 means first is iris setosa second is iris versicolor and third is iris virginica yes, let's confirm this look 0 is for iris setosa iris versicolor and iris virginica so all are 0 so this means that 39 to are correctly uh, uh, correctly classified is identified as the iris setosa so this orange box is for the iris setosa it is easy and it is linearly separable so it is uh, quite easy for the classifier to identify the iris setosa from the other two species now for the petal length less than equal to 1.75 it go if it is true it goes here it goes there and in this way it is able to uh, it is able to predict for the other two species now making prediction on unseen data for this, uh, I have already um, saved our tuples for the each uh, classes as a press one, press data one, press data two, press data three, and I'm going to I'm going to do make prediction on this onsen data sets. So for the press data one, which belongs to the iris setosa, and I'm giving the input value five point two, four point one, one point five, zero point one into uh, this and and uh, after doing the prediction let's what uh, let's see what i get is iris setosa which is the actual result so we we are our medic predicts model predicts correctly for the first unseen data Se similarly we can see for the virus it is washy color we are giving the input value as this 6.8 2.8 4.8 and 1.4 and we are getting the iris washy color so our model is uh, doing great job here Again, the for the prints on this underscore data data three, we are getting the iris virginica, which is the correct result. So our model came up with the correct class level for the all the onset tuples. Now saving the model and loading it. So we are using the import pickle. We are importing the pickle library or module for. Uh, uh, saving the model, the model and loading it so uh, there is a method called the dump which is used to save our uh, model and uh, using the load method of the pickle we are going to load our tuple and make the again the prediction for the other unseen data sets as well so this is all about this project if you like this video please uh, like this video and subscribe my channel for similar types of the videos and thank you so much for your valuable